We have many Muslims, especially living in India, who have various types of surnames and names. And there are various surnames which match with the surnames of the non-Muslims. And especially the Muslims of the Kokan region, the Kokanis. And even I'm a Kokni, so that no Kokni feels offended. And if you analyze the surname of certain Muslims, depending on the region they're coming from, their surname resembles that of the non-Muslims, of the Hindus. So you have a Thakur, a Muslim Thakur and a Hindu Thakur. You have the Patel, the Muslim Patel and the Hindu Patel. You have the Naik, Naik, my surname is Naik. You have the Muslim Naik and the Hindu Naik. You have Pawaskar, a Muslim Pawaskar and a Hindu Pawaskar. We have Muslims coming from the Gujarat side who have surnames like Shah. You have a Muslim Shah, you have a Hindu Shah. Surname like Desai. You have a Muslim Desai and a Hindu Desai. We cannot identify from the surname whether the person is a Muslim or a non-Muslim. If you read the tradition of beloved Prophet, the Prophet never ever changed the family name. He never advised the people to change the family name. You know why? The family name shows the roots. And identification of the roots is very important in Islam. Therefore, the Prophet never ever recommended any Muslim to change his family name, whatever his name was. Because if you know, ah, Naik, Kokni, coming from Kokan region, you come to know the roots. Ah, Thakur, if you're the Muslim coming from the Kokan region. Ah, Shah, coming from the Gujarat side. You come to know the lineage, the area where you come from. But many a times, along with the surname, which may get mixed up with the non-Muslim. You even have names which can get mixed up with the non-Muslims. You have Muslim, huh? Muslim women who have the name Kishwar. You have a Muslim Kishwar and a non-Muslim Kishwar. You have names such as Sheila. You know, there are some Muslim women who have the name Sheila. Even the Hindu has Sheila. You have Danish. Muslim Danish and a Parsi Danish. There are certain names which are common. And some of the Muslims, when they have a non-Muslim type of surname, like Thakur, Patel, or Naik, they take advantage of the situation. And they try and manipulate. If they're meeting a uh, Muslim, certain names of Muslims are identical. You can easily identify the Muslim, like Abdullah, Sultan, Muhammad, Zakir. No two doubts that Abdullah, Zakir, Muhammad, Sultan, they are Muslims. No two doubts. So if you have a label which clearly identifies and a name is specific, there's no two doubts that you are a Muslim. But certain Muslims take advantage. If they have a surname which matches with a non-Muslim, if they meet a Muslim, they say the full name. Like Muhammad Naik, full name. That is the name of my brother. And if they meet a non-Muslim, they say M Naik. It can be Manohar Naik. It can be Manoj Naik. My brother doesn't do that. But I'm telling the example so that no one feels hurt. No one says that I'm particularly pinpointing because it's very common. They write M Naik, only M Naik. Or M A Naik, M D Naik, whatever it is. You can't identify whether the Muslim or non-Muslim. When they meet Muslims, they say the full name. So, using such things, intentionally trying to manipulate that if a Muslim comes, maybe like a good customers, I want to identify I'm a Muslim. If a non-Muslim comes, I try and deceive him. It is nothing but deception which Islam is completely against. If your name happens to resemble a non-Muslim, if your surname, no problem, keep it. But don't use the strategy of trying to win over people by deceiving them. Islam doesn't permit that. Be proud of your name, alhamdulillah, and identify yourself to be as Muslims. You know, when you go to school, you have a particular uniform. That if you're going to St. Peter's school, the school which I went to, you have gray trousers and white shirt. You can immediately identify he is a St. Peter ride, a student of St. Peter's school. If he's going to St. Mary's school, he wears white trousers and white shirt. And if I, that he is a student of St. Mary's school. And they have a particular different color ties, etc. It's easy to identify. They wear a uniform known as the school uniform. 
Identify the person. 